Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Montero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install the Subaru WRX STI inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder so like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. So let's get started. Now I'm going to make this really quick and easy for you to actually install. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next, open up your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to your time 64 folder, then go to your DRC pack folder. Now open up your Subaru extract folder, now inside there, all you got to do is select the STI12 folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Open up the readme.txt, then now just keep scrolling down until you see the DRC packs code. Copy this code, then exit out of your text file, exit out of your extract folder, go back to your Grand Theft Audio V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder open up your open iv now go to your grand theft audio v windows this process will take a few seconds once your application is open select edit mode select yes go to your mods folder go to update go to update.rpf go to common go to data and now scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml hover over it right click select edit scroll right down to the bottom and now just paste your code over there save it now if your game does crash when you run the game you'll need to add your game config.xml i'll leave that inside my description below so go to edit mode exit out of your open iv right click refresh your desktop and i'll see you guys in the game and we are back and now we are in the game and our game didn't crash so if your game does crash then you will need the modified game config make sure that you do install that inside your open iv now to spawn your vehicle you will need a trainer now i'll be spawning the vehicle using simple trainer so if you do have simple trainer then simply press F3 on your keyboard. Next, go down to vehicle spawning. Then I go right down to the bottom to edit vehicle menus right here. Now find your vehicle, which is the STI. And now there you go. Now, this is the vehicle, okay, it's pretty awesome, I really like it. Now, you can modify it, but there isn't much to modify. So, I will just only pause the video and I'll see you guys when I modify the vehicle. And now we are back and now we modify the vehicle. There isn't much to modify, but I just only added a new paint job and just added the, uh, like, windows and etc. So... It's pretty cool, you can just change the colour if you want to. So that is how you guys spawn the vehicle and that's how you install the vehicle. 
and now we back again so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod but like always if you guys do need help or support installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do need help or support on installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that I do have a discord server my discord server is inside my description below so go and check that out for more help or support for your PC modding support okay so with that all said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.